Indian soap operas or Indian serials are soap operas written, produced, filmed in India, with characters played by Indians with episodes broadcast on Indian television. India's first soap opera was Hum Log, which concluded with 154 episodes. Ye Rishta Kya Kalada Hai is the longest running Hindi serial in the history of Indian television with 2,700 plus episodes as of September 2018. Still running. The most common languages in which Indian serials are made in are Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Bengali, Tamil, Kannada, Odia, Telugu, and Malayalam, though many contain a mix of the predominant language and English. Indian soap operas are also broadcast in South Asia, Southeast Asia, Central Asia, the Middle East, North Africa and Francophone Africa. History India's first soap opera was Hum Log, which first aired in 1984 and concluded with 154 episodes, was the longest-running serial in the history of Indian television at the time it ended. It had an audience of 60 million. Every episode was about 25 minutes long, and the last episode was about 55 minutes. At the end of every episode, veteran Hindi film actor Ashok Kumar would discuss the ongoing story and situations with the audience using Hindi couplets and limericks. In later episodes, he would introduce the actors who played characters in the serial and end his monologue with the Indian language versions of the words, Hum Log. Biographies of famous people started being produced in the form of soap operas like Chanakya, Dardi Ka Veer Yoda Prithviraj Chohan, Veer Shivaji, Jansi Ki Rani, Chidid Ki Rani Padmini Ka Johar, Bharat Ka Veer Putra, Maharana Pratap, Chakravartan Ashoka Samrat. Crime shows also started being produced and aired. Adalat was an Indian television courtroom drama series which revolves around advocate K.D. Padak, a defense lawyer with an impeccable track record of winning cases and setting helpless innocent victims free, but not at the cost of upholding the truth and CID, follows a team of detectives belonging to the Crime Investigation Department in Mumbai. The protagonist of the show is Shivaji Satam. CID is the longest running TV series in India. Daytime soap opera were popular during the 2000s with shows like Kumkum, Bobby, Chithi, Kalangal, and Mehdi Ali. During the 2010s, as more women began working, they fell out of favor of the general public. Today, there are no daytime soap operas on any mainstream channel. Currently, the four major networks that air primetime soap operas with national wide are Star Plus, Sony Entertainment Television, Colors TV, and ZTV. Topic. Social impact Soaps affect Indian society, with regard to national integration, identity, globalization, women, ethics and social issues in rural areas. The first Indian soap opera, Hum Log, began as a family planning program, and although it quickly turned its focus to entertainment, it continued to embed pro-development messages which provided a model of utilizing the television serial as an edutainment. Method that was followed by countries around the world, a 2007 study of cable coming to rural India showed that it led to significant decreases in the reported acceptability of domestic violence towards women and son preference, as well as increases in women's autonomy and decreases in fertility. It also found suggestive evidence that exposure to cable increases school enrollment for younger children, perhaps through increased participation of women in household decision making. Topic status in Pakistan Indian soap operas are popular in Pakistan and Indian entertainment channels are widely watched, due to the mutual intelligibility between Urdu and Hindi. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has banned the showing of Indian films and soap operas. The British Broadcasting Corporation has reported that cable television operators in Pakistan often violate the ban and air Indian television serials due the high popularity and demand for these in Pakistan, and Indian television shows make up nearly 60% of all foreign programs broadcast in Pakistan. In June 2006, Pakistani comedian Rauf Lala participated and won the comedy television show, The Great Indian Laughter Challenge but could not be followed by fellow Pakistanis as the show was not allowed to be aired. 
An official has commented that Bollywood and Indian television soaps have invaded our homes. Indian television shows have contributed heavily to the Sanskritization of Urdu in Pakistan, and it has been reported that many Hindi words such as Namaste, Namaste Maharani, Maharani and Chinta, Sinta, which have been an inherent part of Sanskritized Hindi, have entered standard usage in Pakistan due to the influence of these soaps and Bollywood movies. The viewing of Indian soaps has become so popular that mainstream newspapers such as the Pakistan Tribune often and have feature articles on the shows. Since satellite connections offer uninterrupted coverage of Indian shows, many people have bought these to watch the programs. Anti Indian sentiment is reported in Pakistan, and the two countries have fought four wars. However, the effect of Indian soap operas and Bollywood have resulted in an increase in how favorably an ordinary Pakistani views India and Indians. Certain Indian tourists to Pakistan have said that people are particularly friendly if one is from India. After the ban of Indian shows, Turkish shows became popular in Pakistan and invaded Indian content. Then, some officials got worried and they backed out some networks to degrade Turkish content and some channels like Geo Kahani, Urdu One and Express Entertainment started airing 90% Indian serials, who are earning money due to the poor rating system in Pakistan. On 27 October 2018 the Supreme Court of Pakistan has reintroduced the ban on Indian content on local channels in the country. The channels like Filmazia, Urdu One had shut down Indian content for appropriate period of time. See also Tamil television soap opera List of longest-running Indian television series <laughs>